We are back on the Morning Brew with friends with Curly Tilapuyawa, and Curly's an old friend, filmmaker, stuntman. What movies have you been in, Curly? Um, so I guess Sicario is out in theaters right now. Yeah. So do you play one of the gangsters in that? I'm one of the bad guys. Well, we always play bad guys. Right. But uh, they kept, I kept hearing how good the movie is, so I just assumed they had cut me out of it <laughs> because I have dialogue and. You know, yeah, pretty cool scene, but uh, I'm in it, and they left it all in. So. That's cool. And, so, what uh, do you, what do you play? Do you know what you can? Can you remember what you said? Yeah, I mean, it's just one line. I walk yeah. up and I'm checking the car, and then Benicio del Toro shoots me in the face. So. Oh, that's a cool scene. Which is, I, I've had dreams. That's how I'm gonna die in real life. That's excellent. That's so, excellent. Well, Benicio good. Benicio del Toro is uh, gonna knock on my door. <laughs> Next time he's in town, we'll, we'll, I'll give him your address. Um, and then you've also been in a ton of other films, locally made films and giant film releases. I know you were in, uh, was, it, was it Crash? What was the big one that was made here that was downtown that kind of oh, got you was, into um, it? Which one was that? Gamer. Gamer, that's right. Yeah, the way that worked out was some friends of mine and I, uh, this guy Scott Phillips, uh, local writer-director, we made this movie back in the day called The Stink of Flesh. We made it for $3,000, and the director of Gamer saw it and loved it and just called me up out of the blue, told me he wanted to do stunts for him, and flew me out. We did Crank 2 together. In fact, I just did a movie for him called The Vatican Tapes. Cool. And that was that your first big one? Yeah. And since then, that was about a decade ago? Yeah. And since then, you've been doing stuntman stuff here and in Hollywood, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I have like 40. 40 movies and TV shows. That's huge. And so you took a lot of those profits and poured them into something that I think is really awesome, which is Zero Point Parkour. And Zero Point was the thing that started, what, five years ago now, four years ago? Yeah. And about a year and a half ago, you said you bought it. And parkour, it, not everybody knows what parkour is. Maybe you can explain that briefly. So parkour is basically getting from point A to point B in the easiest way possible. So it was developed uh, back in the day by the French military as a way to keep their soldiers in shape, and then it just kind of caught on with young people. As a sport? Yeah. And this is the thing, I mean, if you've ever seen the videos of people running across cityscapes where they climb over walls and run up buildings and climb through dumpsters and yeah. over hedges yeah. and whatever, whatever obstacle is in their way, but they just keep running. Yeah. And I think a lot of people remember it from the opening scenes of the James Bond film, uh, was Casino it Royale. Casino Royale, where there's a great parkour scene where they run across cranes and everything else. Mm -hmm. And it's a crazy fun sport, right? Yeah, it's really cool and it's really good for young people. So what we do is we try to focus on uh, kids, you know, a lot of these, these kids, they're not really into traditional sports, you know, they, right. they don't want to play football or basketball, but they want to do something cool. And when they see parkour, they see something that's awesome. You right. Know, they come in there and they, they want to like... be a Ninja Turtle or a <laughs> or Spider-Man or Daredevil or something. They come in and we show them how to do all of those things. That, and safely. Yeah, yeah, in a safe environment, which is the right. big thing. You know, we have, it's an indoor parkour facility. We have 8,000 square feet of training space. We've got a uh, gymnastic spring floor, we've got lots of pads, we've got a foam pit. Uh, we have a mini warped wall from Ninja Warrior that is smaller than the actual Ninja Warrior one so that kids can tackle it. And this, that's the wall where you run up it. And then you yeah, can... and you try to grab and, and pull yourself up. And I, I think a lot of people see the Ninja Warrior show, and there's, you have some of those same kinds of things. There.